just high or just shy of the 9,400 pound mark, the 34 RSBS J Flight here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. That is about a 34 foot box, rear sofa, bed slide. That's sometimes all those letters make sense and sometimes I think they just make them up like a scrabble board. Let's take a look with our floor plan in a flash. If what you're looking for is that big opposing living room slide situation, you want a nice comfy theater seat to kick yourself down on, a decent size extra headroom inside one of these, uh, a great thermal package. Actually, j I believe, has the best in-class thermal package available. We'll discuss more of that later. But you also want the ability to have a nice big bed slide. We've got this one outfitted with a king bed and, and dual airs today, both of which are optional, but both of which are things that you'll tend to find on them here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. It is a, a great model if you're looking for a lot of trailer without like the big $50,000 fifth wheel budget. That's really where this one comes in. Now, if you like the look of this thing, but you want something eh, just a little bit left to center, take a look at the 32 RET Wildwood here at Halid RV. It takes this classic living room concept. Jayco does a very good classic version of something like this, both here in the J Flight as well as the 330 RSTS Eagle, but the Wildwood twists the whole living room around. Catalina has their own version of it all of which you can find side by side here at Halid RV. So along the way, if you see something you love, let us know. If you have questions about something or if you'd like to see something different, let us know that too. Hit that subscribe button, follow along. And remember, we are family owned and operated. We would sure appreciate the opportunity to earn your business in return for our efforts here today. And again, what we are largely getting here is the idea of like, I call it a flat deck fifth wheel floor plan, but for someone who maybe still works for a living or who just doesn't need to spend Eagle level money. And uh, again, the, the Wildwood, the J Flight, the Catalina, the Eagle, they all have their own benefits and uh, you know little quirks here and there. And that's why we put these videos together to help you kind of zero in on the one that works best for you. Now the decor we're looking at here, I think is one of the signature calling cards that you can get from Jayco. That's that uh, modern farmhouse decor. It originally began in Eagle and then it kind of just you know spread like wildfire through the whole series. Now, if you're not into the whites and distressed grays, you can get more of a traditional brown and brown uh, color package, but this is really, since you can't really get it anywhere else, and I can get you brown furniture and other things, you tend to find a lot of this at Halet RV. But if you don't want those other campers and you want the brown stuff in here, give us a call. We'll make it happen. No big deal. Now, the entertainment center has seen some revisions compared to the previous season. Uh, nothing that's too overt, really, though, until we get to the kitchen. A couple things I do want to point out for you. The entertainment head unit is not just Bluetooth and stereo, it is also DVD in function. And you see the ga uh, the metal strut right there. Any overhead flip up door like that in your J flights, really in Jayco's pretty much as a whole, uh, they will have the struts on them, including those little doors above the sofa in the back right there. Now that TV right now, it is at a great position to be facing directly across from your, uh, you know, uh, what I want to say, cinema seat kind of stuff here, your theater seating, heat and massage on those, by the way but it doesn't have to be stuck there. It can pivot. So if you want to make it face toward the dinette, roughly where I'm standing right now, or back toward that sofa, if you feel like lounging, you can do that there too. Electric space heating fireplace, taking some nip out of the air without burning up our propane. And you saw in our floor plan in a flash, all the windows open. I also want to point out that all the windows open for airflow. Uh, you can see the uh, center beams on them when I point directly at them, but between the dark window tint and those nice dark shades, not a lot of sunlight and no nosy neighbor nonsense getting through here. Now this is a great couples camper, but if you notice, we also have room here for a, a good hide -a bed space in the back so that not just uh, couples can enjoy the floor plan, but if you have guests and they don't have to be little grandkids, if you have adult grown friends or grand big grandkids, like I was a big grandkid, you know, I didn't fit on dinettes. My grandparents though just threw a blanket on the floor and said, have at it, grandson. But back then my bones were still bendy and my neck didn't hurt when I woke up. So I didn't mind. <laughs> um, Little Jayco details too, a couple really present themselves here in the slides, like our theater seat. It's not just a theater seat, it's also heat and massage, which is nice. You see that it has a pair of those uh, kind of dual swing around, kind of dining table, you know, kind of jobs, I don't know, what do we want to call these things? A little swing out side stand, swivel stands. I've got one in place. I have the other kind of tucked off to the side here so that you can see there is a nice gap. So if you're looking for that kind of TV tray function, you have it. While we're, like I said, we're talking in the slide, little details too, like all of your windows, in your Jayco's uh, are all fully framed out. And that really gives those pleated shades something nice to bite into. But what you're not seeing is in that slide floor. 
First of all, they're using a really heavy duty slide for it's a thing called Pmax. It's hard for me to just sit here and talk about it and make it interesting though. Long story short, Jago uses a heavier weight and stronger flooring in their slide outs, even here in a J flight. You don't have to get one of their luxury fifth wheels to get a better build like that. Uh, something else you're not seeing in the slide floor is the radiant barrier to help keep your uh, heating and cooling a little more even. Now, freestanding table and chairs is available. You see how we've got this one outfitted here uh, with the booth. One of the cool things about that is just like that uh, sleeper sofa in the back, that can fold down and give us some extra sleeping space. So it's a couple's model that could easily sleep four or five. Or if you've got a lightweight little one like my daughter, she doesn't mind sleeping on that theater seat. You could squeeze maybe a six person in here without throwing air beds on the floor. But it really depends on who's coming along and what they're okay with. Now, not only can that fold down into a sleeper, but you see with that table being free floating, you could move it anywhere. Very handy on the rear sofa for like a little dinofa action. And they give us doors for easy access to the storage below their dinettes. Uh, speaking of uh, easy access, as we back up here on the island, you will see that on both sides of the island, not just the one we're seeing, they have these little swing out kind of mini pantries. Uh, now, the whole island actually wasn't here in the previous generation of the 34 RSBS. It was a peninsula countertop. So they've actually given us some extra storage as a result. I do like the dual drawers that they do down here. J-Flight does a good island arrangement while still giving us a nice big space for things like a wastebasket. Now, in case you're curious why those drawers don't go up higher, it's because they put a nice deep sink in there. So if you have big stuff, you can actually do some real prep work. That does mean that the drawers have to be down a little bit closer to the floor. But as we'll see in just a minute, there's a couple other drawers that are up a little higher. So you can really kind of organize this a uh, little bit of however you please. Now, all through the kitchen, you've got those nice sealed edge thermal foil countertops, which is very nice when you're around a high water source area like that right there. And we will get this kitchen all opened up for you. Uh, another thing that's really changed is the way that the pantry is situated within the slide over here in the 34 RSBS compared to last year. In the previous version, this camper had no real pantry. Like, it's awesome that they have this dedicated, directly in the slide, like, you know, intentional pantry space. But in the previous version, it wasn't there. Instead, what you had to kind of do is, uh, it is nice that they maintain the storage around the fireplace below the TV, but behind the TV used to be what I call the pantry tainment center. That was really where you had to keep your boxes of mac and cheese and stuff. And don't get me wrong, it worked. It's not like it was bad, but I don't think it was the most effective solution, and I think that Jayco agrees. And the revisions to the kitchen of this, I that that's why I keep saying that they took this thing from good to great you know they they've taken it right over the top at this point the the way that they're doing the storage on the island you see all the easy reach outlets around this thing like there's some over there on the coffee bar that we'll get to in just a minute but a dedicated island over here and now the ability to outfit these with that 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt dc compressor fridge that is a larger capacity faster cooling and i think that it fits the goal of this camper perfectly because again it's basically the same kind of floor plan as a 330 rsts jayco eagle but at like half the budget or you know maybe just north of that but we'll say 40 percent ish less than a, a, a similar eagle floor plan while still giving us like 90 percent of the bang for the buck this is a really high value model there's a lot of good things they've done here now one of the other things that we've done here that you just really can't see is we like to outfit these with a larger 15,000 BTU air conditioner and as you'll see when you go to the bedroom we also like to build them with a factory installed second air from Halet RV all of your J-Flight uh, AC vents can turn, open, and close individually. And that skylight we're looking at up there is yet another option that we've applied to this one. And just like you saw right there, I've got like a sunshade pulled on it to keep the uh, sunshine from baking you like an ant under a magnifying glass, so to speak. But what that's going to let you do is, uh, you know, keep the sunshine out in terms of heat, but get the sunshine in in terms of light. Now, the other thing is we got a really good lighting package here, and I forgot to flip on one of the lights up there, which, in a way, we're going to turn <laughs> chicken poop into chicken soup, ladies and gentlemen. Not only are all these lights all on one individual switch, but you can individually click them off and on so that, you know, you can have as much or as little light anywhere and everywhere that you please in this camper. So how about that? Unintentional feature demonstration. I'll take it, baby. And a real quick note, once again, on the flip side, you do have the dual swing out pantries. And believe it or not, I am using my Jedi mind powers to close that. 
That's what it sounds like when you use the Force, by the way. They, they just edit that out in Star Wars, trust me. Then flipping around on the way past the entry door, we get to our command center. It's up high, it's behind a door, so the little grandkid fingers, if they come along, can't reach up here and turn something like the water heater on and burn up your, uh, you know, your, your water heater, obviously. You know, I was doing good. I was doing really good there for a little bit, and there it just, it just all fell apart, didn't it? <laughs> but hey, we're doing it live. Pre-recorded live. It was, it was live when I recorded it. Anyway, locking bathroom door, place here to hang towels. Things that bathrooms often need and sometimes in travel trailers don't have. Now, one of the reasons I like camping in a J-Flight myself is they're very good about making sure we have good leg room on the toilet and good headroom in the shower. Now, in a full J-Flight, we get porcelain foot flush there. And on this floor plan, you can see that we have some great storage here in the bathroom. That is a very underrated, underappreciated feature that a lot of campers tend to lack. Now, like I said... That taller ceiling means a bigger guy like me can stand in the shower. That is one of the reasons when I camp, it tends to be in a J flight. Uh, when I go camping, it's usually in a 264BH. It's a simple series bunkhouse. It is certainly not as flashy and fancy as this one, but it gets the job done for me and my family. Now, that ain't a small sink. It's just a big countertop. Uh, oh, and by the way, let me get around the corner here. <laughs> We've got ourselves some GFI protected outlets. You know, this is one of those things, it's tricky, because someone's going to say, like, tell me guys, give me a comment, what is the correct answer here? Because, like, if you hang a towel on that, it's going to be dangerously close to the sink and maybe sopping up water, but if you mount it up any higher, it's going to interfere with the medicine cabinet door. It, it just feels like sometimes there's not necessarily an ideal solution. What, what would you do there? I'm kind of curious. Um, whoop, <laughs> tripping over something. <laughs> We have a dual entry bed and bath here. Now, if you're not interested in all that, you could always just like lock one of the doors down. That's no big deal. Like the sliding privacy door there, just put an extra latch in place and keep it latched down. We're gonna see a couple optional pieces of equipment in this bedroom. First of all, this has been built uh, 50 amp service instead of 30, which made it second air ready. And then you're seeing that we've gone ahead and added the second air conditioner here. This is a big space, big triple slide guy like this, probably gonna stay parked most of the time. We think you're really gonna want that extra air conditioning power. And additionally, when you get it done from the factory, not only is it less expensive by a clip, but it's also warranted by the factory, which means you're getting a two year Jayco warranty. Now at Halen RV, we stand behind our work. We have a one year guarantee on any work we do. So if we add a second air, it would be uh, covered, you know, our work is covered under our own one year warranty. But now, you don't have to worry about it. You're getting it for more warranty and less money. That's awesome. Deep bed slide in here means lots of room to stand up and get dressed. We're also looking at, instead of the 60 by 80 standard queen, we're looking at a 70 by 80 king upgrade with some big breeze through windows. The dual mirrored doors there on the closet make this thing look and feel enormous. And then you see the rest of the closet cabinet space over here. Another thing that's really cool about this floor plan, not only does it have that nice dresser or the TV hookup straight across from the bed, but that big closet space over there, down where those shelves are, if you want to, you can remove those shelves. If you're looking, there's like a dark back inside of that cabinet, but it doesn't go all the way to the nose. That's why it's a different color. Hidden behind that is actually combo hookups for a washer-dryer combo unit. Uh, so that does make this uh, very nice for some people who are looking for some more, say, extended seasonal operation time. And again, it's kind of where it, it's, it's close to that eagle level, but again, you're saving a ton of money by comparison. And not only do you have a full pass-through storage compartment under that closet, which a lot of triple slide trailers tend to forget and leave out, you see that you also have a full underbed storage space here with that easy lift plywood decking. It even passes all the way through outside, so you can kind of decide how you want to set your cargo up, uh, you know, at the headboard, at the foot, where you want to access it, how quickly, and how easily. Now, I always like to show these things a little bit with the slides closed so you get an idea. Maybe not so much travel function on this trailer. A big triple slide trailer like this, you're pretty much going to leave at a destination the whole time. I do want to mention, uh, obviously, the uh, door and the bed kiss one another here, but there's more than enough room if you got to snake your way through. Now, the bathroom's easy to access because there's no slides or anything blocking uh, anything on the way to the bathroom from the entry door. Like pretty much anything like this though, it's definitely going to be a destination use trailer. It does not offer much else in the way of travel function. If your life depended on it, could you crawl up on this countertop and snake around that corner? Sure. 
but short of, the, I don't know, maybe the freezer. If you also climb down the counter, you're not going to get to much there. Now, I hope you appreciate the transparency and the way that we look at things fairly. Sometimes even in a light that is not so uh, complimentary, we always try to shoot you straight so that you can get fair facts and a fair deal here at Halid RV. If you appreciate that, definitely give our team a call. And uh, let's see what else she's got on the outside, shall we? And right away when you step outside, you can see the breeze windows on the slide side right there. We got that larger folding handle for easy come and go and the easy adjust. More ride stable steps or something a lot of brands have adopted. And I am glad to see it because if you're on funky, uneven ground, easiest thing to do, you hit that little tab, retract the legs just like I've done, and then you just bang. Now a little pro tip, go like when it touches the ground, Pull a little bit to make sure it's not just short of one extra click because sometimes that's what you need for that extra stability there. The uh, Another cool thing on these is that this has the key-like system. So basically, you're going to use one key for like that main entry door as well as the baggage doors. You don't have to have like a whole jingle jangle full of keys on your belt loop or in your pocket or anything like that. Much, much easier, especially if you need like extra copies or something. You only need one extra copy. You don't need a whole bunch of extra copies. And we're in the bedroom. I was saying how this one still has a full pass-through compartment. Once again, that is something that most of these triple slide stick and tin travel trailers, like a J-Flight, a Catalina, those kind of things that we have here at Halid RV, a Wildwood again, uh, a lot of times some campers won't have that. Like Wildwood is ready for stackable washer dryer, but you have to sacrifice the pass-through storage outside to get to it. So which camper is quote better often depends on exactly what goals you're looking to accomplish. Now there is one area where there's absolutely no debate, no argument. Which one's better? That is the Jayco warranty. Two plus three year warranty here is something that nobody else in this class is offering. Jayco has pretty much always prided themselves on having the best warranty out there and this RV here is no exception. If we teleport over to that bed slide, remember how there was storage, like a storage access door below the headboard. That's what we're looking at right here. And once again, even where they don't really expect you to look when you're shopping, you still see things like plywood. You still see nicer materials. Also, what's cool is between these slides right here, your black flush, all your water hookups, your electrical hookups, all this stuff is in one easy location, your sewer hookups as well. So really kind of, it's not like a dedicated privatized docking center, but it pretty much still fulfills the exact same thing. Down here we have our best in class, Goodyear Endurance Radials. Once again, in this category, nobody else is doing what Jayco's doing right here. 87 mile an hour rated American made tires and some good looking aluminum wheels too, if you ask me. The uh, over here, behind the fireplace, they had just some extra storage. And this is what I call why not storage. Why waste it? Why not put a big baggage door on here? Why not make it easy to access? And that's the kind of logic that Jayco applies to these here. So as we uh, step back, I want to point out the windows and the fact that they're all very heavily UV tinted. Because in this class, only about 50% of trailers have that. Additionally, uh, the uh, rear ladder, that is another thing many campers in this class do not have. Now, a lot of times it's not even that it's not a factory option. A lot of times it's not available whatsoever. And I apologize that the camera's a little wonky. I am currently walking on like a 45 degree angle on the grass hill beside this camper you might have seen in the background. It is uh, a little bit tricky. Now she's backup camera ready, but in addition to that, like, okay, so backup camera ready, we have Goodyear tires. Those are great safety features. This also has the J Smart lighting system found on all Jayco travel trailers and fifth wheels. Uh, basically, what's gonna happen, let's say you flip on your right hand turn signal. On almost any other RV, the tail light will blink and that is it. On a Jayco RV, just like a semi-trailer, the all of the uh, like clearance lights on the side of the trailer will blink along with your turn signal so that other drivers have a clue what you're doing. And once again, anytime I get all the windows over here on the campsite of the RV, I am a happy camper. So let's talk some construction features. Uh, this has the Magnum Trust roof system, which has about 50% more weight capacity than anybody else in this class. They also use this extra thick, like eight inch micro laminated header beam that extends way past the slide out. That probably means very little to you as a, as a casual viewer. What it means to anyone who's very serious about owning one of these long term though, is that the section of the wall above the slide, if you think about it, there's very little supporting it above like a 12 foot hole in the wall. Well, that extra thick header beam that they put in, in, on Jayco's, and that is something other brands do not do, guys. I've been through all these different factories. That is not a normal build quality out there. That's like heavy duty, long-term, fifth wheel grade stuff that they're putting into it. 
They're doing that here at their stick and tin trailer level so that if you do want, it, it doesn't matter that it's not laminated. If you're looking for the last RV you ever want to own, a J Flight is built to perform. Now you might see a couple of our footprints up here from doing our initial quality control walkthroughs and me doing this video, but you won't see them when you take the RV home because we do things like clean the RV for you, include your battery, fill up your propane tanks, get you some water electric surge guards, uh, show you how the camper works, all included in our price tag at no additional charge at Halo RV because I know that if we were spending kind of money that it takes to buy one of these, that would be our expectations too. We don't do fees, we just make it simple and easy. Uh, while we're up here, quick mention of Jayco's Magnum Truss Roof System, rated for 50% more than anybody else in this class. Good heavy sealant coverage on this, I like these. And standard roof solar prep, that's the black plug right over there. So if you want to add some panels, uh, the charge controller location again was in the bedroom, kind of basically right below where that's located. And uh, you know, if you're going to just spend some time in a park, don't worry about it. And again, second air conditioner we're looking at here, optional piece of equipment. We like to add these big triple slide guys at Halet RV. So if you love it, let us know. And if I miss something or you got a question, give me a shout. I'll do my best to circle back and get you caught back up. Short of that, remember that we don't do hidden dealer fees at Halet RV, but we do everything else. So if you need hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, if you want this big guy delivered, if you don't even have a tow vehicle, no sweat. We do stuff like that all the time. And it doesn't matter where you live. I don't care if you're on the California coast and we're here in, in Southern Michigan. Give us a call, you give us a chance. We make deals happen, guys. All we need is that fair opportunity. So as always, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone. Appreciate it very much.